What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And don't mind the scruffiness. Haven't been to work in about two, three weeks, so let it grow out. Y'all know. Y'all know my occupation. Gotta keep it clean, shaven. As y'all can see, I'm in a new vehicle. This is my parents. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's like a conversion van, and so um, they got a new vehicle with uh, I think it got seven seats in it, a new truck. So they didn't need this, so they were gonna sell it. And I said, don't sell it, I'll take it. So they gave it to me. So now we got a big old conversion van. So now I'm just driving it just to keep it moving. And it kind of works out for me because with my, you know, my business and whatnot, um, I have, uh, I can use my truck for mainly for my business and I can use this for just everyday driving, you know what I mean? Just to keep it active and then my truck will get some work and it'll get a little rest. Anyways, happy new year. It's 2018. Time to take it to the next level. And I wanted to talk quickly about levels. Um, <clears throat> levels are good. Um, I guess a quick example would be my, my setup, my vehicle trailer slash setup. When I first started out, those who know, I had a, a Dodge Magnum with a 4x6 trailer, very small trailer. It was only big enough to fit my 94 Murray Garden tractor. <clears throat> Um, from that point, I upgraded my trailer from a 4x6 trailer to a 5x8 trailer. Not big of a jump, but, you know, um, you know, it was bigger. Then, I went from the Dodge Magnum to the Astro Van. So, I had the Astro Van and then the 5x8 trailer. Then, I went from the 5x8 trailer up to the... 7 by 16 trailer which was a huge jump and when I got that trailer I was like what am I going to do with all this space you know <laughs> and so I said um you know what I guess I'll grow into it and now I've gotten to the point where that trailer is perfect for me you get what I'm saying it's perfect for me and I couldn't imagine myself not having it you get what I'm saying? I was thinking about getting like a 6x12 or something like that. But now that I have my truck with that trailer, it's a, it's a perfect marriage. You know what I mean? And so I guess what I'm trying to say when I say levels is that some things when you jump, in 2018, you need to jump. And I know I always say this, you know, the Steve Harvey thing, jump off a cliff. I'm not saying that. When I'm saying jump, I mean by your levels. <clears throat> When I went from my 4x6 to my 5x8, I outgrew that trailer in a year. You get what I'm saying? But when I went from my 5x8 to my 7x16, I thought it was too much trailer for me. And it ended up being perfect for me. And you get what I'm saying? And so, um, when you are deciding on something, in your mind... You're like, you know, I don't want to spend too much money, but at the same time, you have to think about the fact that what are you doing this business for? Are you doing this business for the big time? Are you trying to do it on the side or are you going big? If you are going big, if you plan to try to get this business as big as possible, it's probably no level jump that you can do to out jump yourself well i take that back <laughs> you probably could out you probably i mean if you went out and got a freaking track the trailer trailer that would probably be a little too much but you gotta know um like i would like when i was looking for, for trucks i had to i almost over jumped myself because i would wanted an f-350 you know, because I just like the way they look. I wanted a diesel. You know, I wanted to be, you know, cruising. You know, and so, but then I realized, this, I had to think about, like, 
within the next five years, are you going to be towing anything that requires you to have that big of a truck? And the answer to that question was no. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to, you know, so that's why I, I jumped back to the, the gas gasoline engine trucks, started looking at those, ended up picking a Titan, and I, that was like the best decision I made. You know what I mean? So I'm in love. I'm in love with my vehicle setup. I'm also in love with my equipment setup. I know the first thing y'all gonna ask me, 2018, what are you planning on getting? Um, ideally, ideally, it would be a trailer. And so, I'm kind of going back and forth on it because originally I wanted an enclosed trailer because that would be my mowing trailer. You know what I mean? It, it might stay hooked up to my truck all the time or it might stay hooked up. It probably stay hooked up to my Astro Van all the time. So whenever uh, BJ and Clay needed to go out, they would have that trail already hooked up and have the lawnmowers already in there, which would eliminate some lawnmowers in my, um, you know, in my shed. So give me some more room. But after doing leaves, you know, I'm kind of contemplating um, a a dump trail, you know, which, like I said, this is me jumping levels. That would be a big jump because that would be a whole lot. I have no idea how I'm going to afford that a dump trailer. I have no idea how I'm going to afford a, another trailer, period. I mean, I could probably can finagle to get that, but these are the decisions, you know, and I'm still kind of leaning towards the enclosed trailer because my thing is, um, I had, um, Will from Will's Lawn Service, he came out and he, uh, he got up some leaves for me, he, you know, and I just basically put that into the price of, you know, what the job I was doing and, you know, he, he can help me out that way. So, you know, you know, as long as you have friends or whatever for big jobs, when you need them, you um, you know, you can use them. So that kind of eliminates me having needing the dump trailer. But the dump trailer definitely would be beneficial when I get those big loads of leaves or big loads of mulch or stuff like that, and I can go dump it and whatnot. But for now, I don't think I need that. I think I need the enclosed trailer more. <sighs> Equipment wise. I think I'm at my peak. You know what I mean? I got the the Gravely 52 inch. That's gonna tear through anything. For the manicure lawns, I got the uh, the walk behind, the T bar, Toy Built. I mean not Toy Built, the uh, Toro. And then for everything else, I got the Toy Built with the bagger system got debris and stuff I need to pick up on a property throw the baggers on hit it you know need to cut a yard bag it now I can do that I used to then and people ask me could I bag I used to didn't do it because I didn't have the, the, the equipment to do it now I got the equipment to do it you know and so I got two trimmers. Oh, that's another thing. I, I probably need to get some more trimmers. Right now, I just got two Echo PAS 225s. So, I probably need to um, upgrade my... Maybe I want to get a little bigger trimmer. My Shindawa is never dependable. It's always breaking down. So, I might turn that into a brush cutter or something like that. But, yeah. So, that's... Getting my two at 2018, I wish y'all all y'all the best. Like I always tell y'all, y'all got any questions, leave comments, um, send me messages. The best way to message me is on Facebook. You know, go follow me on Facebook, send me a message on Facebook, it'll pop up right on my phone, and I normally respond back that very same day. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. Yes, sir.